Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Koyum bin Muhammad Zamri. I am student from Faculty Applied Science in Environmental Technology AS229. I would like to present the assignment tree for FSG 471. The objective for this presentation are to foster a comprehensive enhancement of the learners' skills and knowledge, empowering them with the expertise needed to meticulously craft, adapt, and successfully execute secure work procedures. This proficiency is achieved by leveraging either the Job Safety Analysis GSA technique or the Hazard Identification, Risk Assessment and Risk Control hierarchy. Approach within the framework of their prospective organizations, ensuring not only a safer working environment but also a deep understanding of these invaluable methodologies and their application in real world scenarios. Next, the purpose for this presentation are to meticulously craft a develop a comprehensive repository of safe work procedures guided by the rigorous standards set forth by the Department of Occupational Safety and Health DOSH. This endeavor involves the adapt a utilization of either the job safety analysis JSA methodology or the hazard identification risk assessment and risk control hierarchy technique ensuring not only compliance with regulatory requirements but also the creation of robust framework for maintaining a secure and productive work environment within the organization. The definition of JSA and hierarchy are a procedure designed to facilitate the integration of safety and health principles and practices into specific tasks or job operations. It embodies a systematic approach employed in safety management, serving the critical functions of identifying potential hazards, conducting a true evaluation of the corresponding risks, and subsequently orchestrating the implementation of measures aimed at controlling or mitigating these risks. This versatile methodology finds application in a multitude of settings including workplaces, projects and various environments, ensuring a comprehensive approach to safeguarding the well-being of individuals and the integrity of operation. In this comprehensive presentation, I will delve into the intricacies of chemical mixing within the control confines of a laboratory environment. Specifically, our chosen focus for this assignment is none other than the chemical laboratory itself, where precision and safety are paramount. Within the realm of chemical mixing, we encounter an array of potential hazards that demand our attention. These hazards encompass inhaling chemical fumes, the inherent risk of explosions, and the susceptibility to chemical reaction with flammable outcomes. These perils can in turn result in a range of adverse health effects, including respiratory irritations and eye discomfort. To address these concerns, the existing risk control measure prescribe the mandatory use of surgical masks and protective goggles while performing chemical mixing duties in the laboratory. Moreover, as a part of our recommended control measures, it is prudent to explore the substitution of chemicals with lower inherent hazard and to adopt strategies aimed at minimizing overall chemical exposure, thereby enhancing the safety and well-being of laboratory personnel. In this slide, we are going to examine the likelihood and severity values 
for the chemical mixing task. All the values that have been decided are based on the two tables shown in this slide. Regarding the likelihood, the chemical rating for chemical mixing is 5, indicating that the likelihood is very high. This means that the activity is frequently performed. As for the severity values, they have been rated as 3, signifying a very serious impact if this activity is conducted in the lab. Among all the values in the likelihood and severity categories, they can be employed as references in the risk matrix table to determine the risk category for the chemical mixing activity. In this table, the left side represented by the y axis corresponds to the likelihood while the upper section denoted by the x axis pertains to the severity. In this case, with a likelihood rating of 5 and a severity of 3, the calculated risk value is 15, which results from the multiplying the likelihood by the severity. Consequently, it can be inferred that the risk value is 15 and it is a depicted in red, indicating of high level of risk. In the context of this risk category table, we have the means to ascertain the appropriate risk category for the chemical mixing activity by considering the severity and likelihood values. Upon careful evaluation, it becomes evident that this activity aligns with the yellow category signifying a substantial level of risk. This assessment stems from the multiplication of the likelihood and severity ratings resulting in a cumulative score of 15. This score firmly places it within the high risk range typically designated between 12 and 15 on the risk scale. Moreover, this observation underscores the fact that when it comes to mixing chemicals, it is imperative to approach this task with sense of seriousness and caution. The inherent risk associated with chemical mixing necessitate a diligent and safety conscious approach, emphasizing that it is not an activity to be undertaken casually. Okay, right now we're going to the next slide which is the hierarch table. This is the sample or the table that been created uh, myself and my team which is in the hierarch table we have to list out all the hazard all the work activity such as for my place that been taken out for the identifying hazard which is in the lab in the chemical laboratory so just focus in this table on the red line which is in the red row because i'm conducting for the chemical mixing the hazard and also with the effect risk uh, and so on so for the work activity we have to list out the chemical mixing for me is chemical mixing and then we go for the hazard inhalation of physical fume creating explosion and permeability of the chemical reaction and then the effect which is the respiratory system and eye can be irritated so risk analysis also we have to list out what is the sub point in in the risk analysis which is we have to list out the existing risk control uh, the value for the likelihood severity and also the risk value uh, must be stated out in this risk analysis table uh, part in the table so existing risk control that we known uh, before this for the previous slide uh, we have to wear surgical mask and goggles while mixing chemical and also wear it in any time in the mix in the lab so for me i uh, have been told uh, i have been told to you which is the likelihood is five and the severity is three and the risk value are the value of likelihood 
times by severity and we can we get the 15 so for the risk control uh, part we have to list out the recommended control measure which is substitute the less hazardous chemical and minimize chemical exposure uh, so we also have to list out the person in charge were to identify the hazard and the work activity in the lab such as for me is chemical mixing so if you see in the table my name have been stated and also the date and the the noted or we can call it as a reference uh, which is the identifying are complete or not so for this next slide we're going to the risk ranking table which is my activity chemical mixing will be uh, will will be ranked the first one because uh, the risk value were 15 as we know that the chemical mixing is not a uh, simply things that we can do without uh, seriousness and focusing on what we do for the chemical mixing for the standard operating procedure or we call it as a SOP regarding the activity of chemical mixing the individual responsible for this task must conduct the mixing process under a fume hood additionally this person is required to utilize appropriate personal protective equipment or we call it as PPE including surgical mask a lab coat and goggles furthermore prior to commencing the chemical mixing it is essential that the individual reads the safety data sheets SDS for the chemical being used and that's all from me thank you for listening